Hello students, good morning. This is your grammar class. In today's grammar class, we are going to see all about adverbs. Before we start our class, first let me explain the topic in general. Are you ready children? Come, let's start the class. So, what is an adverb? An adverb is a part of speech that provides greater description to a verb, adjective, another adverb, a phrase, a class or a sentence. So, what is an adverb? An adverb is a part of speech that provides greater description to a verb, adjective, another adverb, a phrase, a class or a sentence. Now, identify the adverb in the sentence below. Joe walked slowly and steadily up the hill. So, Joe walked slowly and steadily up the hill. A great way to pick out an adverb from a sentence is to look for the word ending in ly. Yes or no? But although that's not universally true, it's a good place to start. Also given their function, these fundamental elements of the language are usually placed right before or after the verb in the sentence. So also given their function, these fundamental elements of the language are usually placed right before or after the verb in the sentence. So what are the adverbs in this sentence? Slowly and steadily. Because it placed after the verb walked. Adverbs are intensifiers and they can even come in the form of an adverb phrase. That just means you are looking at two or more words that act as an adverb. Okay, children, adverbs are intensifiers and they can even come in the form of an adverb phrase. That just means you are looking at two or more words that act as an adverb. So, what is an adverb phrase? An adverb phrase is simply a group of two or more words that function as an adverb in a sentence. Okay, adverb phrase is simply a group of two or more words that function as an adverb in a sentence. An adverb can modify a verb, adjective or another adverb. An adverb phrase of more than one word can further describe a verb, adverb or adjective. So an adverb can modify a verb, adjective or another adverb. But an adverb phrase of more than one word can further describe a verb, adverb or adjective. Example, she took some time off for a much needed vacation. Okay, she took some time off for a much needed vacation vacation. Here the adverb phrase for a much needed vacation. Okay. For a much needed vacation is a adverb phrase. Example she took some time off for a much needed vacation. So here adverb phrase for a much needed vacation. To know more about adverb phrases look at the following examples. So adverb phrases typically Answer the questions how, where, why or when something was done as you will see in the adverb phrase examples below. Okay. First sentence, I parked the car. Second sentence, I parked the car here. Third sentence, I parked the car right here. Fourth sentence, I parked the car right here under the bridge. First sentence, I parked the car. Second, I parked the car here. Third, I parked the car right here. Fourth, I parked the car right here under the bridge. Look at the first sentence, I parked the car. So, I subject parked verb. The car is an object. So, there is no adverb in that sentence. So, the first sentence does not contain an adverb or adverb phrase at all. Okay. The first sentence, there is no adverb or adverb phrase. Look at the second sentence. The second sentence contains the adverb here. Here in the second sentence, which is the adverb? 
here is the adverb the second sentence contains the adverb here to describe where the car was parked okay to describe where the car was parked look at the third sentence the third sentence contains the adverb phrase okay in the second sentence only one adverb is there here but in the, in the third sentence contains the adverb phrase right here okay which emphasizes where the car was parked and employs a phrase instead of a single adverb so in the third sentence right and here are adverbs okay it emphasizes where the car was parked and employs a phrase instead of a single adverb in the second sentence only one adverb here is used in the third sentence right here is used okay that is an adverb phrase look at the fourth sentence i parked the car right here under the bridge i parked the car right here under the bridge in the final sentence of the group contains a longer more informative adverbial phrase okay adverbial phrase note that right here under the bridge right here under the bridge it modifies the verb to describe location it is an adverbial phrase okay children the last sentence right here under the bridge modifies the verb to describe location it is an adverbial phrase because more than one adverb is used so it is an adverbial phrase now are you clear about adverbial phrase children what is an adverbial phrase adverbial phrase is simply a group of two or more words that function as an adverb in a sentence two or more words that function as an adverb in a sentence once you see a few examples it will be easy to see how adverbs function in a sentence to simplify things they explain the action here are some examples of adverbs modifying verbs he runs quickly here which is an adverb quickly so it modifies the verb runs next she walks slowly here which is an adverb slowly so slowly modifies the noun walks next he is happily chattering over there in the corner here which is an adverb happily yes so here in this three examples the adverbs are modifying the verbs adverbs can also modify adjectives or other adverbs not only adverbs modify the verbs also modify adjectives or other adverbs they provide more information about that other descriptive word for example he runs very quickly here which is an adverb quickly before the word very is used the adverb very is describing the adverb quickly so very is also an adverb it describing the adverb quickly okay he runs very quickly the adverb very is describing the adverb quickly okay very quickly can be used as an adverb phrase because more than one word so you can call it an adverb phrase next example an incredibly pretty girl sat down next to me an incredibly pretty girl sat down next to me in this sentence which is an adjective pretty adverb can you find the adverb in this sentence yes incredibly very good so in this sentence the adverb incredibly is describing the adjective pretty yes or no an incredibly pretty girl okay incredibly adverb pretty adjective so in this sentence the adverb incredibly is describing the adjective pretty okay some more examples he is really handsome he is really handsome that was extremely kind of you 
it was extremely kind of you so they can give us information about the verbs they can also give us information about them adjectives next kinds of adverbs what are the kinds of adverbs first one adverbs of manner second adverbs of place third adverbs of time fourth adverbs of frequency fifth adverbs of degree last interrogative adverbs okay adverbs of manner adverbs of place adverbs of time adverbs of frequency adverbs of degree and interrogative adverbs let's look them in detail so an adverb is a word that modifies a verb in a sentence she is singing a song she is singing a song loudly so the adverb loudly in the second sentence modifies the verb sing by giving us more information that the song is sung with a loud voice is or no yes so such a word is called an adverb adverbs modify a verb by giving us information about the following aspects of a verb okay adverbs modify a verb by giving us information about the following aspects of a verb what are they how an action occurs where an action occurs when an action occurs how often an action occurs okay adverbs modify a verb by giving us information in the following aspects one is how an action occurs where an action occurs when an action occurs how often an action occurs first adverbs of manner these adverbs describe the manner of an action or the way of the occurrence of an action okay these adverbs describe the manner of an action or the way of the occurrence of an action examples happily sadly sympathetically harshly nicely decently carelessly okay these are some example words for the adverbs of manner let's see some example sentences they are living happily okay they are living happily here which is an adverb yes happily is an adverb next she completed her, her work nicely she completed her work nicely here nicely is an adverb of manner okay next example she treats the kids sympathetically here sympathetically is an adverb next sara is driving carelessly here which is an adverb yes carelessly so adverbs of manner describe the manner of an action or the way of the occurrence of an action next adverbs of place these adverbs express the place of the occurrence of an action or regarding an action okay these adverbs express the place of the occurrence of an action or regarding an action some of the words here somewhere near the house beneath ahead bottom top downstairs etc so th these are some example words for the adverbs of place let's see some example sentences they were coming here they were coming here in this sentence which is an adverb yes here is an adverb next they live somewhere in paris they live somewhere in paris here yes somewhere is an adverb next kids are playing near the house kids are playing near the house so near the house adverbs of place he went downstairs he went downstairs here downstairs is an adverb okay so these adverbs express the place of the occurrence of an action 
or regarding an action. Next, adverbs of time. These adverbs states the time of occurrence of the action. These adverbs states the time of occurrence of the action. It may give sharp or rough idea about the time. Okay, it may give sharp or rough idea about the time of an action. Example words, soon, late, yesterday, then, now, tonight, tomorrow, etc. Okay, soon, late, yesterday, then, now, tonight, tomorrow, etc. Now, let us see some example sentences. He will go to school tomorrow. Okay. He will go to school tomorrow. Here, tomorrow is an adverb. Next, please call him now. Please call him now. Here, now is an adverb. Very good. Next, I am still waiting for my friend. I am still waiting for my friend. Here, which is an adverb. Yes, still is an adverb. He will come soon. He will come soon. Here, soon is an adverb. So, these adverbs states the time of occurrence of the action. It may give sharp or rough idea about the time of an action. Next, adverbs of frequency. These adverbs tell about how often or how many times an action occurs. Okay. These adverbs tell about how often or how many times an action occurs. It gives an idea about the frequency of occurrence of an action. It gives an idea about the frequency of occurrence of an action. So, these adverbs tell about how often or how many times an action occurs. Example words. Daily. Again and again. Often. Most of the times. Usually. Sometimes. Etc. Okay children. Now let us see some example sentences. I meet him daily. Okay. I meet him daily. Here which is an adverb. Yes. Daily is an adverb. Next, she is calling me again and again. She is calling me again and again. So, here again and again, adverb. They always help me. Next sentence, they always helped me. Here, always is an adverb. Next example, they come here too often. They come here too often. Here, which is an adverb? Too often is an adverb. Next, adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or thing. Okay, adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or thing. So, in some example words, almost, very, quite, nearly, to, enough, hardly, scarcely, extremely, just, etc. Example sentences. The water was extremely cold. The water was extremely cold. Here which is an adverb? Extremely. Yes. Next. He was just leaving. He was just leaving. Here which is an adverb? Just. So, in the second sentence, just is an adverb. Next sentence, she has almost finished. She has almost finished. Here, which is an adverb? Almost. Very good. Next example, I am too tired. I am too tired. Here, too is an adverb. Last example, he hardly noticed what she was saying. He hardly noticed what she was saying. Here, which is an adverb? Hardly. So, adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or 
thing. Next type interrogative adverbs. The interrogative adverbs are why, where, when and how. They are used to ask questions. Okay, interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions. Example, why is the garden in such a mess? Why is the garden in such a mess? Here, why is an adverb. Where is your sister? Where is your sister? Here, where is an adverb. Next, when are you going to grow up? When are you going to grow up? Here, when is an adverb. So, interrogative ad adverbs are used to ask questions. Note, when an interrogative adverb starts a question, the second word is the verb. Okay, children. Interrogative adverb starts a question. The second word is the verb. Next, coming to the book, chapter 18, adverbs. Okay, chapter 18, adverbs. An adverb is a word that adds to the meaning of a verb. Okay, an adverb is a word that adds to the meaning of a verb. It tells us something about the action in a sentence by modifying a verb, an adverb, an adjective, a preposition or a phrase. Okay, children, an adverb is a word that adds to the meaning of a verb. It tells us something about the action in a sentence by modifying a verb, an adverb, an adjective, a preposition or a phrase. Examples, she spoke well. Here, well is an adverb. So, modifying the verb, spoke. Second example, he was extremely tired. Okay, he was extremely tired tired here which is an adverb extremely so modifying the adjective tired third example he will finish very soon he will finish very soon so here there are two adverbs one is very one more is soon so very modifying the adverb soon okay very modifying the adverb soon Next, the boat flew directly above our head. The boat flew directly above our head. So, directly is an adverb modifying the preposition above. So, here the adverb modifying the preposition above. So, an adverb is a word that adds to the meaning of a verb. It tells us something about the action in a sentence by modifying a verb, an adverb, an adjective, a preposition or a phrase. Next, kinds of adverbs. Adverbs can be divided into the following groups. First one, adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell you how or in what manner the action is performed. Already I told you, adverbs of manner tell you how or in what manner the action is performed. Examples, slowly and sadly we waved him goodbye. Slowly and sadly we waved him goodbye. Here the adverbs are slowly and sadly. Okay, slowly and sadly are adverbs. Second example, he ran fast and overtook all the other runners. He ran fast and overtook all the other runners. Here, adverb of manner is fast. Okay. So, adverbs of manner tell you how or in what manner the action is performed. So, slowly, sadly and fast are adverbs of manner. Next, adverbs of place. Adverbs of place tell you where the action takes place. Okay. Adverbs of place tell you where the action takes place. Examples. We searched for the little girl everywhere. We searched for the little girl everywhere. So, here which is an adverb? 
everywhere is an adverb what is an adverb of place adverbs of place tell you where the action takes place second example he asked us to meet him here he asked us to meet him here here which is an adverb here so it tells about the action takes place here that is a place so adverbs of place of tell you where the action takes place next adverbs of time next type adverbs of time adverbs of time tell you when the action takes place okay adverbs of time tell you when the action takes place adverbs of place tell you where the action takes place adverbs of time tell you when the action takes place adverbs of manner tell you how or in what manner the action is performed okay so adverbs of time tell you when the action takes place examples rohit is going away tomorrow time tomorrow okay next example i have met the principal today i have met the principal today today is an adverb of time adverbs of time tell you when the action takes place adverbs of place tell you where the action takes place adverbs of manner tell you how or in what manner the action is performed next adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency tell you how often the action is performed adverbs of frequency tell you how often the action is performed examples i have often made hasty decisions i have often made hasty decisions so here often is an adverb of frequency second example he rarely visits us these days he rarely visits us these days here rarely is an adverb of frequency okay so adverbs of frequency tell you how often the action is performed the adverbs of frequency usually go before most verbs but after the auxiliary verbs okay the adverbs of frequency usually go before most verbs but after the auxiliary verbs but in questions these adverbs usually go after auxiliary verb plus subject in questions these adverbs usually go after auxiliary verb plus subject look at these examples tom has always been like this tom has always been like this here the adverb is used after the auxiliary verb has okay so adverbs of frequency usually go before most verbs but after the auxiliary verb so here auxiliary verb has is used after the adverb always is used here second example has tom always been like this has tom always been like this this is a question sentence so in questions these adverbs usually go after auxiliary verb plus subject so look at this sentence has auxiliary verb after the tom subject is used and then always adverb is used here so in questions these adverbs usually go after auxiliary verb plus subject next adverbs of degree adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or thing adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or thing examples the curry was very hot the curry was very hot here which is an adverb very is an adverb next example we were quite bored with the show we were quite bored with the show 
here which is an adverb quite is an adverb so adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or thing next interrogative adverbs interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions okay interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions examples how can we sort out this problem how can we sort out this problem here how is an adverb interrogative adverb of manner so how is an interrogative adverb of manner next where are they going next example where are they going here where is an adverb so interrogative adverb of place interrogative adverb of place where next when will the show begin when will the show begin here when is an adverb interrogative adverb of time so when is an interrogative adverb of time how cold is it outside next example how cold is it outside here how is an adverb so how is an interrogative adverb of degree okay interrogative adverb of degree so interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions so adverbs of manner tell you how or in what manner the action is performed next adverbs of place tell you where the action takes place adverbs of time tell you when the action takes place adverbs of frequency tell you how often the action is performed adverbs of degree show to what extent a quality is possessed by a person or thing last interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions next position of adverbs position of adverbs an adverb is placed in a sentence depending on the word it is modifying so we want to place the adverb in a sentence depending on the word it is modifying we never put an adverb between the verb and the object okay we never put an adverb between the verb and the object example we often play handball we often play handball we play often handball this is a wrong sentence we play often handball is a wrong sentence the correct sentence is we often play handball so we never put an adverb between the verb and the object an adverb of frequency comes before the verb it modifies an adverb of frequency comes before the verb it modifies example he always completes his homework he always completes his homework so here which is a verb completes so adverb always okay there is an adverb of frequency so adverb of frequency comes before the verb it modifies next example i sometimes take my dog out for a walk i sometimes take my dog out for a walk here verb is take adverb is sometimes so adverb of frequency comes before the verb it modifies so here in this two sentence completes and take or verbs always and sometimes or adverbs of frequency so they come before the verb to modify next position adverbs of time come after the verb or after the object okay adverbs of time come after the verb or after the object if there is one example they arrived early okay they arrived early so here early is an adverb of time so it comes after the verb arrived arrived is a verb adverb of time comes after the verb arrived next example i met him yesterday i met him yesterday 
here yesterday is an adverb of time it comes after the object him it comes after the object him so adverbs of time come after the verb or after the object if there is one so here early and yesterday are adverbs of time come after the verb arrived and then object him next adverbs of place come after the verb or after the object okay adverbs of place also come after the verb or after the object example there is water everywhere there is water everywhere so here everywhere is an adverb of place so it comes after the verb is next example please put the box here please put the box here in this which is an adverb yes here is an adverb of place so it comes after the object box okay it comes after the object box so adverbs of place come after the verb or after the object first adverb of frequency comes before the verb adverb of time comes after the verb or after the object adverb of place comes after the verb or after the object fourth one if a sentence has both a main verb and a helping verb listen carefully if a sentence has both a main verb and a helping verb the adverb is placed between the two okay if the sentence has both a main verb and a helping verb the adverb is placed between the two let's see some examples i have just finished cooking i have just finished cooking here which is an adverb just main verb finished helping verb have so here the adverb is placed between the main verb and the helping verb yes or no yes so have helping verb finished main verb between just adverb is used here so if a sentence has both the main verb and the helping verb the adverb is placed between the two next example he has always been good at what he does he has always been good at what he does here which is an adverb always main verb been yes auxiliary verb or helping verb has so here we place the adverb between the main verb and the helping verb has helping verb be main verb so in between always adverb is placed so if a sentence has both a main verb and a helping verb that verb is placed between the two next position the adverb enough always comes after the word it modifies okay the adverb word enough always comes after the word it modifies examples he understands well enough what i mean he understands well enough what i mean so here the modify word is well so that verb enough comes after the modify word well second example he was clever enough to run to safety he was clever enough to run to safety here modify word clever so enough comes after the modify word clever so that verb enough always comes after the word it modifies so an adverb of frequency comes before the verb it modifies adverbs of time come after the verb or after the object adverbs of place come after the verb or after the object 
If a sentence has both a main verb and a helping verb, the adverb is placed between the two. The adverb enough always comes after the word it modifies. Next formation of adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner are formed in different ways. First one by adding l by two adjectives. By adding l by two adjectives. Examples: quick, quickly. So quick is an adjective. Adding l by quickly is an adverb. Next brave is an adjective. Adding l by bravely is an adverb. So by adding l by two adjectives. we form the adverbs next for adjectives ending in e the e is dropped and ly is added for adjectives ending in e the e is dropped and ly is added examples humble adjective ending in e drop that e and add ly humbly it's an adverb able ending in e drop that e and add ly ably humble humbly able ably third for adjectives ending in y the y is replaced with i and ly is added for adjectives ending in y okay the y is replaced with i and then add ly examples shaky ending in y so replace the y into i and add ly shakily hasty y remove that y add i and then ly hastily shaky shakily hasty hastily next comparison of adverbs like adjectives adverbs can also be used to show comparison so while we were studying that adjectives we studied comparison of adjectives there we have positive comparative and superlative degrees like that here also we have positive comparative and superlative degrees of adverbs examples joseph runs fast second example jayan runs faster than joseph jayan runs faster than joseph so here we are using comparative degree because we are comparing two person here okay next kapil runs the fastest of them all kapil runs the fastest of them all so here we are using superlative degree fastest fast faster fastest formation of comparative and superlative degrees of adverbs first one single syllable adverbs add er and est to form the comparative and superlative degrees single syllable adverbs add er and est to form the comparative and superlative degrees examples fast faster fastest is okay, single syllable fast so faster fastest adding er and est next soon single syllable sooner soonest adding er and est to form comparative and superlative degrees second so adverbs ending in ly add more and most to form the comparative and superlative degrees okay adverbs ending in ly add more and most to form the comparative and superlative degrees example slowly ending in ly so to form the comparative and superlative we add more and most more slowly most slowly next politely ending in ly so more politely most politely some adverbs do not follow any particular rule while forming their comparative and superlative degrees far farther farthest little less least so some adverbs do not follow any particular rule while forming their comparative and superlative degrees 
three exercises are given in your book all the three exercises are very easy so try to do it by yourself